hello everyone today in this video we will do mixed design for m30 grade of concrete here you can see an example of question the specification given for the various materials so grade designation is m30 because we are doing the mixed design for m30 grade and the type of cement we are using here for the mixed design is opc 53 grade and the maximum nominal size of aggregate should be 20 mm and minimum cement content should be 320 kg per meter cube as per table 5 of is 456 uh, and also maximum cement content should be 4, 5, 450 kg per meter cube and maximum water cement ratio should be 0.45 and the workability is given as 75 mm slump. So here the cement uh, used is as we discussed earlier here OPC 53 grade confirming to IS 8112 and the specific gravity of a cement is given as 3.15 and specific gravity of coarse aggregate is given as 2.74 and for fine aggregate it is given as 2.74 and for water absorption for coarse aggregate is 0.5 percent and for fine aggregate it is 1 percent. Sieve analysis scale a coarse aggregate we are taking from the table 2 of IS 383 and fine aggregate it is giving as zone 2 we have to consider confirming to table IS of 383. This is a question now we will go into the calculation to find the ratio of the uh, mixed design and also how much quantity of uh, various materials to be considered bulky. So step 1 what we will do we will do calculation for target mean strength. For mixed proportion, the formula is F dash CK equals to FCK plus 1.65 into S, where F dash CK is target average compressive strength at 28 days, and FCK is compressive characteristic compressive strength at 28 days, where 1.65 is target mean strength, and S is that standard deviation, and this value we will take from table 1 of IS 10262 From that table for M30 grade, it shows 5. So, FCK value is that where compressive strength which is M30 grade KLA we are doing because of that we will take here as 30 and this is a standard uh, in 1.65 will be in the formula uh, so 1.65 into and uh, standard deviation we got from this table is that 5 so into 5 if you do 1.65 into 5 if you do we will, we will get 8.25. So after adding 30 plus 8.25, we will get 38.25 Newton per mm square. Now, secondly, what we will do, we will find the water content, how much it is required. Okay. So from table 2, maximum water content for aggregate 20 mm. So here you can see in question, they have given aggregate, maximum nominal size of aggregate is 20 mm. And so slump equals to 50 mm. Then we will get we have to choose 180 liters but in question they have given 75 mm slump but here it is uh, 50 mm slump we have to choose 180 liters but for 75 mm slump what we will do for the additional 25 mm slump we will add we will take 3 percent of uh, we will take 3 percent of uh, water content extra so what we will do water content for 75 mm slump we what we do for 50 mm slump how much it is there 186 so 186 plus 3 percent we will take extra so 3 percent below to 3 by 100 into 186 we have to do so after calculating this we will get 5.58 the plus 186 so that we will get 191.58 liters so approximately we are taking this as 190 liters now we will do water cement uh, sorry now we will do calculation to find cement content how much it is required okay as we know from the question water cement ratio is given as 0.45 so from this we will calculate how much quantity of cement is required per bulk, uh, per cubic meter kelly so water by cement ratio equals to 0.45 so when we uh, send this 0.45 this side and cement ratio this side we will get cement content equals to water here we got is 190 liters so 190 divided by 0.5 if we do we will get 422.22 kg which is nothing but 422 kg we are taking the cement content now from table 5 of IS456 minimum content of uh, cement for severe exposure condition is 320 kg meter cube. So from what it uh, from the table from IS what we have to do it, uh, the cement content should not be less than 320 kg per meter cube minimum should be 320 and maximum should be 4 kg, 450 kg per meter cube it should be the maximum. So it should be between these 320 kg per meter cube and 450 kg per meter cube. So it is 422 it is giving. So hence it is okay so that we can proceed with the 422 kg per meter cube. This is okay bulky. So now we will do calculation for finding proportion of volume of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate content. So 
from the specification of IS code table 3 IS code which is 10262 uh, 2009 table 3 for aggregate 20 mm and fine aggregate zone 2 so here in your uh, in question you can see what they have given aggregate is given as 20 mm and uh, zone 2 here they have given C analysis so we are considering this one so from that course aggregate ratio would be 0.62 volt they are saying for water cement ratio of 0.5 from table 3 what they are saying course aggregate ratio is 0 0.6 to 0.5 water cement ratio but in our question the water cement ratio is 0 0.45 here you can see so that what we are doing over here uh, they are saying we have to add the value of 0 0.01 per to get per uh, 0 0.45 bowl uh, course aggregate ke liye we have to add 0 0.01 bowl ke that's saying for here the course aggregate ratio is 0 0.62 for 0 0.5 water cement ratio so i asked to get for water cement ratio 0 0.45 and uh, we have to find the course aggregate ratio bole to we have to take zero this 0 0.62 plus and we have to add 0 0.01 so we will get 0 0.63 if course aggregate is taking the portion of 0 0.63 in one cubic meter of uh, one cubic meter of fine and coarse aggregate then what we will get the remaining will be fine aggregate so 1 minus 0 0.63 if we do we will get 0 0.37 this is the fine aggregate ratio from uh, doing this now help, um, mix calculation of m30 grade concrete so the volume of concrete uh, per how much quantity we are doing for one cubic meter kilo we are doing all this process so volume of cement should be how much in cubic meters scale so mass of cement by specific gravity of cement into 1 by 1000 we have to do uh, here in before how much cement quantity we got here you can see we got cement content is 422 kg so we have to substitute this 422 over here and in the question they have given what they have given in the question they have given the specific gravity is that 3.15 so this 3.15 into 1 by 1000 if you do we will get 0 0.133 cubic meter of uh, cement is required bulk they are saying and for volume of water we have to find so formula is mass of water by specific gravity of water into 1 by 1000 we have to do and uh, as we already got here how much quantity of water we have got before water content is 190 liters we got so this 190 liters divided by specific gravity of water is that one as we all know that into 1 by 1000 so after doing this calculation what we will get 0 0.19 cubic meter of water is required for the preparation of 1 cubic meter of m30 grade bulk they are saying so the volume of fine the course aggregate how much bulk we have to calculate now so the formula is for 1 cubic meter kelly a means here 1 cubic meter so 1 minus b b of plus c this 0 0.133 plus 0 0.19 we have to do so then we will get 0 0.677 cubic meter of portion of that uh, quantity is taking fine and coarse aggregate so now again we will do how much volume of coarse aggregate is taking mass of how much weight it is carrying bulk so here this much kelly we have to do so d this is 0 0.677 into coarse aggregate ratio as we got the coarse aggregate ratio is that uh, how much we got from the above calculation 0 0.63 we have got course aggregate ratio so 0 0.63 into specific gravity of uh, course aggregate is given as 2.74 so we have to take this 2.74 into 1000 after calculating this we will get 1168.63 kgs in the same way we have to calculate for fine aggregate also so d into d nothing but 0 0.677 into fine aggregate ratio so here you can see the fine aggregate ratio is that we got 0 0.37 and uh, the specific gravity of fine aggregate is also given as 2.74 so into 2.74 into 1000 if you do we will get 686.3 kgs so now we will take all the weight or mass uh, which we got for all the items bulk here in the calculation above we got cement is 422 kg per meter cube and water is 190 liters per meter cube and fine aggregate we got is 686.3 kg per meter cube and coarse aggregate we got is 1168.63 kg per meter cube and water cement ratio we have adopted from the given question is 0.45 in the same way we are doing for m30 grade of concrete we are we have to find the mix ratio ratio we have to calculate so for cement we will do we got 422 kg 
per meter cube. So 422 divided by 422 if you do we will get 1 is the ratio for cement. So next we will take for coarse aggregate. So double one six eight point six three. here you can see coarse aggregate how many cages bulk uh, aya double one six eight point six three. So this divided by 422 we have to do cement weight so that we will get 2.76. In the same way we will find for fine aggregate. Here fine aggregate weight is 686.3 divided by 422 we have to do. So that we will get 1.62. So water kelly how much 190 liters we got. So 190 divided by 422 if you do we will get 0.45. So the ratio of M30 grade as per our total specifications given is that 1 is to 2.76 is to 1.62 is to 0.45. So if you all like this video please follow like share and subscribe to this channel and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section so as i'll try to give or respond to your comments so please follow and share to your friends thank you all